Welcome back to another father and daughter conversation. Today's topic talks about the importance of forgiveness. So dad, can you start us off and share why um, forgiveness is so important in our lives? Yes, I can do that. So how everybody doing out there? And like she said, we're talking about forgiveness today. And when I think about forgiveness, it makes me think about growth and maturity. And I say that because there was a time in my life where I didn't feel like forgiveness, forgiving anybody. I didn't even know what it looked like. I didn't even know what it felt like. I just know that at times in my life, things wasn't going well. People treated me a certain way. Uh, things happened to me. And so what I noticed is that all that built up energy mm -hmm. uh, turned into action. It turned into a characteristic that allowed me to approach the world in a whole different way. So even when I dealt with people, and even if I was in the right rooms at the right time, I was still looking at them characteristics in other people and just judging them, thinking everybody is going to treat me a certain type of way. And so what I have realized in my life is that today is that I didn't give myself a chance to be able to level up like I need to, meaning that my mindset was stagnated. And in order for me to grow as a person, I couldn't hold on to all that built up negative energy that I had in me. Mm -hmm. So I had to learn to let go to grow, right? Mm -hmm. So once I let go and understand that forgiveness was for me to be able to move on in my life, to be able to continue to uh, jump them barriers and stuff that I had to go through, mm -hmm. I needed the right mindset. And yeah. me forgiving people allowed me to have that. Yeah, and I think that forgiveness for me is hard because I already have a problem with letting go. When somebody hurts me or when somebody does something to me that I didn't um, do, like if, like if I didn't do that to them and they did it to me or they started it and I felt like I needed to end it, um, I struggle with letting go. And um, I had to really ask myself, well, honestly, what about the times you made mistakes? What about the times you hurt people? Um, do they do don't don't you want to be forgiven for things that you did out of your control or things that you did when you were younger and you didn't know any better you know what about forgiveness on your end you know what I mean and when I looked at it that way that's when I kind of had to lean more humility I had to lean more into vulnerability and I had to lean more on understanding because when I started to look at it from a bird's eyes view and put myself in someone else's shoes I was like, okay, I wouldn't want nobody holding something on me for years and years, especially if I did something that was unintentional or I was just not the best version of myself at that moment. You get what I'm saying? So for me, I'm learning now that forgiveness, um, when, I, when I have problems with letting go, it impacted me in a lot of different ways to where... You know, I would hold up that anger against that person. So when I seen them, my whole emotions would change. I'll be having a good day. But when I see them, I'm annoyed immediately. Um, I kind of felt like Cardi B. When we beef, we beef forever. <laughs> like, don't say nothing to me. I don't say nothing to you. But what I noticed is I didn't like how my body and my thoughts and my emotions reacted when I seen that person. Because that person should not have that much um that much control over how I respond to them and how I see them. And so when I noticed that I was being more impacted than the person who hurt me, I was noticing like, wow, forgiveness is not really for them. It's also for me because I'm holding in all these emotions when I see this person and it's making me feel some type of way. And now I just shifted my whole energy and nobody should be able just to shift my whole energy, especially a person that I've, you know, supposedly I have forgiven or not forgiven. And that's when I noticed that forgiveness is really not for them only. It's also for me. You know what I mean? And I, once I noticed that I was able to forgive a person, I also noticed that just because I forgave them, I didn't have to forget. And just because I forgave them, right, that don't mean we had to be in the same relationship or dynamic of the relationship had to be the same. It's like, okay, we're not enemies right now. We're not beefing. But we, uh, I feed this person from a long handle spoon, or now we know our boundaries with each other, or now even if we don't end up being friends again, that we kind of understand and have a sense yeah. of respect for each other. So when we see each other, it don't have to be all of that. It can just be, hey, Donna, see how you doing? And we keep it pushing and we keep it cordial. Yeah. So when I started going through that process, and I'm still going through that process with some people, with some people I have still not forgiven today, and I'm pretty sure it's some people that have not forgiven me. And rather if it's cool or not, is really not the question that we should be asking. I should be focusing on that myself so that I can be a better person. Because the more that I hold on to that emotion, it's pulling me down. 
you know, my personality, I'm vibrant. I'm usually up. I'm usually lit, you know. Um, I'm approachable. But when it's someone that's in the room that I'm not on the same surface with, my energy can't erupt from that. And I can't have that. Like, I can't have that. Forget yeah. what they're talking about. I can't have that type of emotion running up my day. I'm trying to keep it positive, you know. So I'm learning that the more dynasty is is putting an energy to, to not like somebody or forgive is the more it's taken away from me being a valuable person that I am. So that's just what I think about forgiveness. So it's still a process. Yeah, and, <laughs> it and ain't done, and it, <laughs> you know? No, so. and it's most definitely a process, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you want to protect your mental, mm -hmm. you want to own your mental health, yep. and you can't be letting people pull it on you like that. So, um, you know, what you think? Talk to us about it. And just let Mental Health in the Hood know what you think. We feel like it's a great conversation to put out there. Mm -hmm. It's an ongoing conversation. Mm -hmm. And we know that we all work with felons. Yes, so. we do. <laughs> yeah, the people who say that they don't is yeah. capping. And the people who uh, acting like they don't want to pull that out is because they hurt. So don't yeah. take it personal. But like he, like my dad was saying, you know, let us know, do you think how you feel? What do you think about uh, forgiveness? Do you think it's important? Are you still struggling with it? But just make sure y'all tap in to the Mental Health in the Hood community. Make sure you subscribe, you like, you comment, you engage. The more you engage with us, the more we can keep this platform going. So thank you for tuning in, and you'll see us soon. Have a great rest of your day. Mental Health in the Hood, people. <laughs>